have done many epic drives in Autoka, India, but I think this is going to top them all. Welcome to the Mahindra Adventure, the summit. We are going to drive from here in Kathmandu and drive all the way to the Mount Everest base camp, which is around 17,000 feet. We left from Kathmandu and sneaked through the chaotic morning traffic in a convoy of two thars, two XUVs, and a lone Rexton. The Arni Raj Mark that connects Kathmandu to the Nepali border town of Kodari is at best times a narrow strip of tarmac that winds its way through ravines and hills. Unfortunately, just last month, a deadly landslide washed away part of the road with a portion of the mountain collapsing. But luckily for us, the efficient Nepalese army had chiseled an alternate mud track through the hills. We encountered everything from stationary trucks narrow muddy tracks slush boulders to steep hills and even deep river crossings What set out to be a short 112 km journey was truly an adventure Because of the huge landslide in the area near Davi we have taken this alternative route and I must say it's very adventurous. We, are, we have crossed at least three water crossings and this is by far the deepest one. It's nearly bonnet deep and we are and we have just about crossed it. Oh that felt awesome. So we are about one kilometer away from the Tibet border and we are still stuck in Nepal. Unfortunately, we are a bit late and the border is closed. So we have to start really early in the morning to make up for the lost time. With immigration done, the smooth black asphalt on the Chinese side was a relief. After our off-roading experience on the first day, The 800 km long friendship highway that connects Lhasa to the border town of Zangmu stretched out ahead of us. The road climbs up rapidly and we gained 5,000 feet in less than 40 km. The lush tree cover and waterfalls gave way to the yaks and the vast barren Tibetan plateau. We had reached the roof of the world. Today's drive was spectacular with some breathtaking scenery but it's still not over and uh, we have stopped in a small village called Mempu uh, for a tea break. We still have around say 60-70 kilometers to go to our destination so yeah and it's quite chilly here so I better get in the car. It was dark by the time we reached our hotel in Tingri. The quick rapid climb had taken a toll on the team. The lack of oxygen was making people suffer from nausea and headaches. So today is the last day of our journey and we are going to reach the base camp of Mount Everest. The distance between from here in Tingri to the base camp of Mount Everest is around 80 kilometers. It might sound less but it's going to be off-road all the way. That's why I've chosen to drive the Thar today because I think it's a better bet. So let's get on with the drive. Sadly, after this breathtaking view, it was time to bid goodbye to the Friendship Highway and turn south on a dirt road leading to the base camp. The road is dusty, strewn with small boulders, but the Thar just gobbled it all up with ease. I chose to drive the Thar today because the surface was going to be very tough. I must say that it's taking everything quite easily. Like, you can go flat out over any surface and you know nothing's going to break. You can't do that with the HGB and the next day. <laughs> Thank you.
As we bounce along, we could only marvel at the vast expanse of the plateau. It is sky country. The vast blue dome making even the Himalayas seem like tiny specks in the universe. Oh my god, what a spectacular view. It feels like I'm in heaven. I wish I could just stay here and live all my life over here. As we close in Duronbuk, Mount Everest disappeared from view on account of heavy snowfall. We went off to sleep with fingers crossed for our first look at the mighty mountain. Clear skies graced us the next day and the Everest beckoned us to come pay it a visit. We started for the base camp quick and early. Despite the grueling drive, it was one of the best mornings we had. We reached the base camp last evening and because of the tricky weather conditions, we weren't able to see the Everest properly. But this morning we got lucky and as you can see, the clear view of the Mount Everest. Now at 17,000 feet, it was a test of not only human but even cars. They were really struggling because of the thin air. The car struggled, we struggled but we somehow made it. This is one trip we are never going to forget. When you undertake a journey that tests man and machine like this, it's hard. But the pros at the end are all worth it. This is a journey everyone should put on their bucket list.